The original unrest at Camden Yards was all part of the anger over Freddie Gray's death. Tonight, a demand for change in how suspects like Freddie Gray are being transported in the city. WJZ is live at City Hall. WJZ investigator Mike Helgren takes a look at the possible changes. Mike? Jessica, the bottom line is that vans are rarely used to take those arrested from crime scenes outside of the city. Uh, in the county, uh, those that do often have grab handles or, or straps to hold on to, but no belts to buckle. The death of Freddie Gray has placed new scrutiny on how inmates are transported. Prosecutors contend Gray suffered the injuries that killed him while in custody and that officers failed to put him in a seat belt, which city police policy requires. Many say they've been given the rough ride treatment before. I know to grab the seat belt. I know to hold on. A review of other Maryland police agencies by WJZ's news partner, The Baltimore Sun, finds many have no seat belts at all inside their vans, including Baltimore County, Harford, and Howard counties. Only one Carroll County van has seat belts. Anne Arundel County uses a contractor who takes inmates to court in vans without seat belts. But most jurisdictions almost exclusively use patrol cars to transport inmates from crime scenes. In Baltimore County, the only times vans are used are if the person under arrest becomes violent or is headed to court. We do not support seat belts in these vans for officer safety reasons. It can be extremely uh, dangerous to an officer to have to forcibly secure someone in a seat belt if he or she is not cooperating. While state law mandates rear seat belts, there are exceptions. And under federal law, there are no seat belt mandates. It's a very complex uh, mix of state and federal regulations. We don't believe the law requires us to have seat belts in the prisoner transport van. Baltimore City Council hearings next month will go beyond seat belts and look at whether vans need cameras or should be scrapped altogether. We have to do what we have to do as a city and the city council to hold our oversight authority over the police department to make sure that they're transporting prisoners in a safe manner. Councilman Scott says he would consider supporting cameras in vans. In Baltimore County, police tell us they believe their regulations for transporting inmates are strong and they have no plans to change them. Jessica. Mike, thank you. The Department of Justice has several investigations into the Baltimore police underway.